All right, guys, let's make some coffee. Today, I'm super excited because we have our good friend, James Hoffman, who's an amazing coffee expert. Uh, he's gonna walk us through how to use one of the most common coffee gadgets, a mocha pot. And I actually first was making coffee on one of these back when I lived in France and I had a tiny apartment and I actually enjoyed them quite a bit. They're great. Maybe like me, you hated this thing for a long time. You bought it, you used it once, you thought it was disgusting. You put it in the cupboard. Dig it out, because actually it's probably underrated and does delicious things. They kind of make a coffee that's a kind of halfway house between espresso, which is super strong, and like drip coffee. Yeah. However, they have a bad reputation because it's pretty easy to make bitter coffee with them. We're gonna do a couple of things today to show you how you can uh, really produce something super delicious. Okay, first things first, as with all the brewing techniques, grind size is pretty important. And actually this is where most people uh, make the first mistake and produce a lot of bitterness. Okay. We don't want it ground like we would for an espresso machine, which is super fine, like right. table salt. We want to go just a little bit coarser. So once you ground the coffee, just take this, yeah. fill it, but don't push it down. Mm -hmm. Just level it up. Yeah. What okay. you will notice here though is this one is beautifully clean. There's a kind of lie floats around that having a buildup of old coffee in these things is good. That old, stale, rancid coffee is going to contribute a little bit of bitterness to the cup too, so you want to keep it nice and clean. The other bit to worry about is this little, little rubber gasket here. Right. One, you want it clean so it seals properly. Sure. Two, when you store it, you don't want to uh, store it sort of done up tight because that adds pressure and that'll age out mm -hmm. the rubber. So just store it loose, not too tight. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start on the bottom with hot water. The downside of cold is that while you're heating your water, you're heating up your coffee too. I've always made mine with cold water. Right, and, and heating up the coffee means it's going to taste a little bit more bitter yep. when you do so. So hot water from a kettle, easiest way. Just fill it up just to right below the safety valve. All right, so keep going. It's right under the little valve guy. There we go. I can pop this in? Yep. So when you put it together, just grab a towel because the bottom is going to be hot now. Sealed nice and tight. Done. And you actually want to go straight to the burner pretty quick. Yep. The water in the bottom is going to start to evaporate. Mm -hmm. But it's trapped, so it's going to build up a little bit of pressure. I can hear it going. It's going to apply pressure to the water, then push it through the funnel, through the coffee, and that's going to do the brewing for us. Once your coffee starts to flow, it'll look nice, look super delicious. Listen and wait, and as soon as you start to hear a gurgling sound, you want to cool it down. Mm. Take it off the stove, just run it under your cold tap in the sink. Gets rid of the steam, stops the brewing process dead. Okay. So we made your mocha pot, super delicious. Mm -hmm. But when I used to make it, I would take a French press on the side, heat up some milk, froth it up, and pour myself a latte. Beep. Yeah, it's so it's like a doubled in volume, huh? Yeah. Tap out the few bubbles. Here we go, huh? Uh, ooh. Oops. Check it out. Mocha pot lattes. I made that one. James Hoffman <laughs> made that one. So there it is. Put good coffee in, you use it right. Get a delicious drink. And then French press to hand. A whole array of delicious drinks. So super flexible, delicious, underrated. Go and play with it. The mocha pot.